Here is the uh, DX Engineering radial plate for the uh, vertical antenna. It came um, with one set of hardware and I purchased an additional set um, so that I'd have enough for the uh, intended number of radials that we plan on putting up and also a package of uh, eyelets for the radial wire and I purchased uh, two more of those. So we'll be uh, inserting the nuts and bolts and washers into that plate and getting ready for installation. Well, I purchased the um, radial plate with one extra set of hardware. It comes with one set and uh, you can purchase additional hardware. It's stainless steel, nuts, bolts, washers, and, um, and so forth. And uh, I've already installed one of those sets and I'll proceed here with um, these additional hardware. They, uh, uh, simply as the instructions call for, uh, the uh, nuts and bolts and washers are inserted through the, uh, through the plate. So <clears throat> something like this, it then has a star washer, a flat washer, a split washer, and then the nut and then, of course, that process is repeated uh, around the, um, the perimeter of the plate. Um, I am planning on putting in 64 uh, radials, so I'll be doubling up some of these locations with uh, two wires per, per nut. Okay, here we are with the completed um, radial plate with the nuts, the hardware that I've purchased anyway, installed. And we'll be um, mounting the, uh, the radial wires to this plate once we get it out on site. One last uh, piece is a saddle clamp, which uh, is purchased separately. And the saddle clamp, of course, um, will mount this radial plate to the mast that is set in concrete. And the um, vertical then will also clamp onto the same mast. So the saddle clamp simply uh, passes through these pre-cut holes and <clears throat> the hardware installs, turn this around, simply on the other side a couple of uh, washers, a split washer and a nut. I'll also be using anti-seize compound on the stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts as uh, recommended by DX Engineering. So, when the time comes, this will be all set. There we go. To uh, mount on the plate. And uh, then it can be um, held slightly off the ground or, or in any position near the ground where the radial wires will then uh, spread out into the into the soil. So that's uh, that's it. There's one last um, cut hole here in this plate and this is for the um, RF connector for your coax and uh, you can use a feed through or you can use a regular connector that bolts on using the four pre-trolled screws which uh, whichever is your preference. So that's it for the uh, radial plate. We'll continue with that installation once we get on site.